Hello everyone, this is Nino from Shiro Plugins and today I'm going to show you how you can make a plugin for the Mod Duo with Jen. Now I'm assuming you already downloaded the Max app. Uh, if you didn't, please do so. And go to the Package Manager. There you will find a Mod Duo package. When you click on Launch, you'll see a pop-up and here are a few examples of Jan plugins and we're going to use an empty one as a starting point for a vibrato we are going to make today. Making a Jan plugin revolves all around the Jan object. Uh, Jan is normally used in Max as a way to write low level code that is run at signal rate and only the insides of a gen object will make it to the final plugin. Now if we open this, uh, you'll see the standard contents apart from the comments of a gen object. It's two inputs being sent to one output. Now before we start editing, it's a good idea to rename uh, our main patcher and the gen object. So let's save the main patcher. And save the gen file as well. Now if you rename the gen object, it will reference to the save gen file. Since our vibrato uh, we are going to make today is mono, we can delete one of the inputs. So now we have just one input and one output. Uh, like many plugins, vibrato is a time-based effect, which means that it uses a delay line to create the effect. Um, so we're going to use a delay object which delays the signal by a certain amount of samples which you can see here um, okay let's connect it and the vibrato effect uh, ramps the delay time up and down to create the effect uh, and normally it has a few parameters let's say uh, a depth parameter and a rate parameter so what I did now create two parameter objects with a name, the default value and the range uh, with the min minimum and maximum values. Uh, we will use the depth parameter to define the depth of the vibrato. Uh, de defines the amount of delay time that is swept between and the rate will define how fast it will be swept up and down. Uh, now let's connect the rate parameter to a cycle object. The cycle will function as, a, as an LFO, but its range will be uh, from minus one to one, but a negative delay value doesn't really make sense, so we uh, have to make it absolute or in this case 0 to 1 so use plus 1 to make it 0 to 2 and divide it by 2 times and a half 
to get it into the 0 to 1 range. Now if you, we connect this to a multiply object, the LFO will sweep between 0 and the depth value, but it will be in milliseconds. And the delay object takes samples, so we need to convert it, and we can use the ms 2 samps object to make it easy. And this is the vibrato effect. So if we save the vibrato effect now and go back to our main patch here, we'll see that the gen effect has one input and one output. We can address the parameters of the gen effect from the outside, for example using prepend objects with the name of the parameter after it. So now when we run some audio through the vibrato, we can control the parameters. When you're finished testing your uh, plugin and you think it's ready for the mod, uh, start the mod watcher, make sure you're, you connected the mod duo. And then press the message here. It will then compile your effect for the mod. And here's our vibrato on the mod with two parameters. That's it. Oh, yeah.